Hello everybody and welcome to the kitchen table. We're on Thursday this week. I've just spent a few days away on retreat. I actually went down to Weymouth so the sea breeze was welcome. But it was great to get away and just spend some time reading and praying and thinking about life in parish and all that means. So I've come back feeling a little refreshed and I was thinking, oh, kitchen table, what am I going to talk about today? Then something popped up on Facebook. It was a clip of 200 Samoan people on balconies in the Great Western Hotel in Hobart. They had arrived in order to do some work on the fields, labouring. And they had to quarantine for two weeks. There was a wall of sound as everyone were out in their balconies and they were singing that wonderful hymn, How Great Is Our God. How great is our God. Just this sound coming out over the town that they had come to work in. And that really made me think about how interconnected we all are. I don't know if you've heard that we struggle here at the moment to get enough people to pick the crops in the fields, to do the jobs that normally people come from all over Europe to do. Just like our young people go from here to lots of places in Europe to bring in harvests. We are such a small world, even though we are so distant and so far apart. We actually need each other. We all produce different things that help to make everything that we need easily provided. Those people who were singing on that balcony were singing in praise of God, the God who they know, who they worship and who they rely on to help them to get through tough times. It certainly would be a tough time being in quarantine for two whole weeks. Many of us here will have experienced that. Many of the school bubbles have been quarantined again here in Melksham and whole families have been having to stay together indoors in this heat. When we think of what we need to survive in our lives, for so many people, God is an important part of that. I have a friend, Fia, who is a Samoan minister, and he used to talk about the connections of family, of how you have to work together, men and women in ministry, men and women in families. We all rely on each other, but we also rely on God. The words of the song that is being sing singing from that balcony is how great is our God, sing with me how great is our God. Age to age he stands and time is in his hands, beginning and the end. How great is our God. It doesn't matter which times we find ourselves in, there are times of trauma, times of stress. We have just experienced a pandemic and are still experiencing a global pandemic, even though here in Britain we feel like there is a bit more freedom and relaxation. We have to recognise that in so many nations across our world there is not yet freedom, there is not yet a vaccination programme, there is not yet sufficient infrastructure to deal with a pandemic. Likewise with global warming. There is huge issues, floods, killing hundreds of people, heat, putting people at risk. Here, the temperatures soaring in our own nation. The global crisis that is global warming needs to be addressed by every single one of us in every nation so that all nations will be safe. The same is true when we look at politics in our world and we see the dangers of far-right politics oppressing and bringing real struggles for people. When we look at nations like Afghanistan, 
where Britain and America move out troops and the Taliban are moving in, a nation at war with itself being destroyed. It is about being together to solve the problems of the world and for me it's about placing all those problems of the world not just in our hands and doing what we can do but in placing them all in God's hands who is with us from the beginning to the end of days never leaving us on our own always journeying with us through the tough times bringing us hope giving us peace and his love for the Samoans singing on those balconies bringing joy hope and an understanding of the love of God into the place they find themselves is I think a real inspiration and for those of us who have been unable to sing in church there is a sense of connection with what it is to bring our praises by singing to God. Last Sunday as the church service ended in St Michael's we sang outside just a small group of us socially distanced and singing about Christ in who alone we can put our trust. But the joy of worshipping in that way is very real, not just in this nation but across the world. When you lift your heart in song, when you lift your voice in praise, everyone is affected and touched. At the end of this chat, I'm going to put up the, the English version of How Great Is Our God. But if you want to see the Samoan guys singing, go on Facebook and just do a search. It's a joy to behold, to watch the love in a heart expressed through a voice. When we truly love each other, no matter where we come from, who we are, our world gets a much better place. So think about how you can do that today, how you can connect with people near to you and people far, how you can understand the importance of working together so that the whole fabric of our world blends together, woven in love and peace. And know that when we make a difference, God is there beside us and before us already making a difference and we truly can make our world a better place. I hope you enjoy this song. Bye for now and have a wonderful day. Bye. God.
see how great, how great is our God.